You know, I think uh, one of the things that was important to me when I was interviewing for this position was uh, the importance of being able to recruit locally, recruit uh, the top talent out of North Dakota, um, be able to, to really keep it home uh, and play here for Minot State, and not just a matter of being able to say that we recruited X number of uh, North Dakota kids, but truly finding the best kids in North Dakota and making Minot State be uh, a destination for them in a place where they'd be excited about the future and excited about playing football and college football here uh, in the city of Minot. So I thought that we did a really good job. Uh, we identified uh, quite a few kids early on in the process. Um, our recruiting process, especially for the North Dakota kids, goes all the way back to last spring. Um, and then so as we kind of go through the process and we vet, vet each kid and, and really figure out who's going to be the right fit for us. And at the same time, they got to figure out if we're going to be the right fit for them. But I think uh, at the end of the day, when the recruiting cycle finished and, and we got through signing day, I, f I feel like we did a great job in, in recruiting the state of North Dakota and getting the kids we really wanted. And uh, could you talk about some of the kids that you were able to recruit here? Well, I think, uh, you know, as we, as we talk about sticking a flag in our backyard and then recruiting ourselves outward, um, you know, it's important to talk about the, the guys that are right here from Minot that decided that uh, they wanted to play college in their hometown. And um, you have a, a great receiver, Peyton Lamore from Minot High, that, uh, you know, his, his parents are alums, and, and I think that was, uh, that was important to him, but also the ability to, to play wide receiver was, was uh, important. Some other schools were, in, were recruiting him for something else. And um, we really like his skill set, his, his competitiveness, uh, his hands, all those type of things uh, really, really attracted us to him. And, and he's, a great, uh, he's a great kid and, and a really good fit. Uh, you have Lofton Clubunde, um, who, who is also from Minot High, and he's a tight end. Uh, again, another great kid, very ultra competitive, you know, watching both him and Peyton on the basketball court, those two can take over a game. Um, and that's very important to us, obviously. Uh, he's not, uh, he's not a huge body tight end. Um, but I think he's, uh, he's got a skill set that's going to allow us to do a lot of things with him. Um, and, and we're pretty excited about that. Another, another kid with really good hands and just versatility, which is, which is really big. Um, Staying at, at Minot High, we got Logan Kruger. Uh, he played offense and defensive line at Minot High. Also played some linebacker this year for him. And uh, going through the process, he's he's a kid that uh, was on a lot of radars um, at all different levels. And Logan Logan was very important to us. And you know, I think a lot of schools really wanted him to be an offensive lineman. And and I know we talked with him about that a little bit as well. But uh, at the end of the day, and, and me being a defensive coach and being the most selfish guy on staff, um, I'm excited that uh, that after recruiting Logan and talking with him, that defensive line was what we wanted to do. And I think uh, he could be a difference maker, very athletic, which he showed. I mean, they had him playing middle linebacker his senior year in high school uh, for a 6'4", 260-pound kid. That's, that shows you that uh, he's got a pretty special skill set. Um, you know, and, and his, uh, uh, he's a son of a coach, and, you know, the – Obviously, being right here in Minot, I think, is pretty important, uh, not just to us, but to him and, and his family. So uh, he's, I'm really excited for him, you know, especially being a defensive guy and getting my hands on him. And then our last Minot high kid, Brett Davis, uh, played running back. Uh, he's kind of been around a little bit on the defense for him at some different times. Um, but he's just, uh, the thing I really like about Brett is he's not going to jump off the charts at you as far as, uh, you know, great speed or uh, just a premier running back or anything of that nature. What he is is just a tough kid. And a really big trait of importance to me is just straight toughness. You know, I want our guys to be tough. And that's the other thing of recruiting uh, our region is, you know, we, we live in these conditions where it gets a little cooler in the winter, um, you know, and it gets a little warmer in the summer. We have some pretty big extremes and, and we're kind of used to how to have to live in that. And so that's where the toughness factor comes in. But, uh, you know, Brett's a hockey guy and, and I want, and I like hockey guys. I've had a lot of success coaching kids that have played hockey. It's a different locker room. It's a different mentality, a different type of guy. And, um, Brett's going to find himself a spot on our team someplace. We're going to start him at running back, give us an opportunity to have a, a little bigger, thicker back, a tougher kid, 
Um, but he, I mean, like I said, I'm selfish, so it wouldn't take me too long to try to uh, talk him into coming over to the dark side on the defense a little bit too. Uh, and then to round out our Minot group is Chris Sowich from uh, Bishop Ryan, a big offensive lineman, uh, offensive guard, uh, great kid, um, awesome family. He was, uh, he was our first kid we offered. He was our first kid that committed. He was our first kid that signed. Uh, so that tells you a little bit about how excited he is. And, you know, he's been at, uh, you know, every Minot State basketball game that he can make. And that was well before he ever committed or signed. I mean, he, he wants to be a, a Minot State Beaver through and through. And, and so we're really uh, excited about his skill set. And he's an offensive lineman. So uh, his development stage takes a, will take a little bit longer. Um, but I know that he's excited so he can speed up his own development, you know, as fast as he wants to go and being right here in town, um, all five of those guys are going to be kind of our ambassadors, you know, and, and really for all the youth and, and all the young kids coming up through, uh, football here in Minot, uh, I want them to be able to see the successes of, of kids that have gone before them and then come to Minot state and had a lot of success and they'll just build off of the kids that, that already play for us that are from, uh, the city of Minot. So, um, like I said, I mean, build, build it from the, your backyard and then you, you work your way out. We signed uh, two twin brothers, uh, Jay and Josh Bauman from Kenmare. Um, two, again, two tough kids. I mean, they wrestling background, um, you know, they, they'll, they'll go and scrap with each other in, in their living room and, and break some furniture. And uh, I know their parents are really excited for them to have to come here and maybe they can get new furniture now. Um, but I, I really like what they could do. They're big bodies, both defensive ends, um, a little bit different. Even though they're twin brothers, they have they both have a little bit different skill set. One's a little thicker, one's a little quicker. Um, I, I'm not going to say which is which because then they'd, they'd probably get mad at each other uh, or me, and I don't want that. But um, again, two two kids that really fit the philosophy of of really what we're trying to do and what we're trying to to really build here at Minot State with our football program. And then as we as we go, also uh, locally, Colton Miller from Delac Burlington, um, another hard-nosed kid, was, was at our camps, so just a, a kid that wanted to be here, um, you know, through and through, and, and he's kind of a plug backer and uh, a true inside backer, uh, one of those guys that you'd, that you'd probably label A-gap to A-gap. You know, we're not going to... Uh, expect him to go sideline to sideline. That's not his specialty, and that's not what we want him for, anyways. We want him to be that thick kid that can, uh, you know, take on a an offensive guard as he's climbing to him, or, or take on a fullback. And um, you know what we say is we want him to be able to check his time and uh, really be able to stick somebody in the hole and, and just be a physical, you know, Brutus type inside backer. And I think that uh, that Colton really fits the fits the bill for what we're looking for, you know, really in that position. Um, we also signed, uh, Chase Peebles out of Langdon, North Dakota, uh, another wide receiver. Um, I think, uh, you'd say, well, typically somebody from Langdon might go under the radar, but they're a really good football team and, and, uh, you know, a, 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 a state finalist and, and did some really great things this year. And, and there's a number of kids from that team that are going on to play college football. So, uh, by no means flying under the radar, but somebody that, uh, that we've known about for a long time came early in the in the visit process uh wanted to jump on board as early as possible um you know again not a blazer but a little bigger body wide receiver really good hands uh somebody that can go and block and do all those you know those specialty things that you need a wide receiver to do and not just uh not just the fast guy that can stretch the field vertically um that's you don't see that very often at division two anyways and so we want guys that can be more productive and they can be you know, flashy when it comes to the to the uh, the testing stats, I guess you would say. And then uh, we also signed uh, Travis LaRoque from Turtle Mountain. Um, father played here, or, or didn't play football, but went here to uh, Minot State. Um, so another legacy kid, a guy that uh, again that we had here early and and really excited about his upside. You know, I think that uh, he would be somebody that would fly under the radar a little bit. And, um, and so I think that, uh, he's got, a, he's got some years ahead of him and as he'll grow and get bigger and stronger and, 
and all those type of things. I think he's going to be a, a guy that uh, that's going to contribute for us and do a lot of really good things. And and again, he's not, he's another hard nosed kid, and um, they don't uh, they haven't had a ton of kids come out come out of that program and playing college football. And so I think it's a pretty big deal, not just for for their program and for him, but also for us. And I think that's uh, that's what we're trying to establish. And I think that's going to be something that we can really build on.